Hello crafty friend, it's Justine. I am thrilled because I have been completely inspired by these mice in the house mouse collection, which is the Christmas one. So I have a lot of cards to show you today. I have a whole stack of cards that I've already made and I'll show you those at the end. And I have a few that I'm going to be putting together on camera. So I have all of the stamps from this release. So there is a little bit of something for everyone. These stamps are rubber stamps, which I use my Misty to stamp out because they are pretty large stamps. So it's just easy to use my Misty for. To do that, I take out that black foam and the paper pad that's in the Misty just so the rubber stamp has an area to work with. So if you're a little stuck on that, let me know in the comments and I can try to give you a hand. But today I won't be coloring or stamping those on camera because like I said, I was super inspired by all of the stamps that I just kept stamping more and more and more and more. And I just had such a fun time coloring these. I was watching some movies and just enjoyed the process of coloring and just making beautiful cute little mouser cards little mice cards now i'm going to be showing a whole bunch of different dies that are not part of this collection just things from my stash which i love doing shopping my own stash and i will link everything in the description below so on this one the extra die that i used on here was the postage stamp the essential postal collection which came out i think last november which seems like it was so long ago but i guess it was just last november i don't know what i'm doing i'm just talking about these and i need to make sure my placement is right so just hang on one second before I mess up the card anyway <laughs> let's just get the sentiment on first and then we'll know the placement okay like I was saying, all the dies. This one, I wanted to use the rectangle postal edge just so I could nest in these adorable little mice with the mistletoe right in the center there. So I used that one, but I used a few other dies coming up here. And my favorite part about these stamps, besides the mice, of course, is the sentiments, are the sentiments. They are just so darling and very, very appropriate for the actual stamp. I'm going to be putting these cards on card bases later, just not on camera, just to save time and so I can show you more cards and more inspiration. Okay, now I paired a lot of these cards with some embossing folders as well. So this embossing folder was an old one, old in quotes, it's from last year or sometime. I will link it in the description if it is available. It is just kind of a fun little Christmassy background and then I was playing around with some ink some distress oxide actually and I just made the background on here I think I used lumberjack plaid I could be wrong but I'm pretty sure that's the color I used on this one just had to pop a little bit of glue on the bottom there because it was popped up all right, now this die that I used to cut out this very determined little mouse was part of the motif collection that was released last summer, about a year ago. And I'm pretty sure this is still sold on the Spellbinders website, so I can link that for you. But again, I love a nesting die, and I just think that it's fun to have different shapes like this that aren't just a, a regular rectangle or a square, but something that has a little more flair like this one and this one. The sentiment on this card just cracks me up. It says, bringing you love and joy this holiday. And this mouse just has this look on his face that he is gonna get that ornament where he wants it. And I just think it is so, so cute. I know I said that a lot in this, I'm going to probably say cute a lot in this video, but this set, it really is a cute collection. All right, now I had to bring out some glimmering because the collection that is called Glimmer for the Holidays was just such a pretty one. So I glimmered out this paper with some copper and I used the pine trees 
at that. That is so pretty. I'll link the foil plate in the description. And then I took some oxide ink and just inked up the outside edges. I didn't bother with the center because this oval is going to cover it up and I figured, well, let's save some ink, save some time, and just leave it blank. Now, this is the same mouse from that card, but you can see how big this stamp is with this one. It fills up this whole space, or you can cut it down with another die cut like this and get a little picture. I'm using the same sentiment, bringing you love and joy this holiday on this one, just because I think it is so appropriate with this little mouse's expression and his little fist there. Oh, just so cute. Oh. I just can't get over it. That is a really cute card. I love the foil in the back. Okay, moving along to the next one. We have our swinging mouse on the Christmas lights. Can you even get over that? I cannot. Oh, that is so, so adorable. Anyway, the background for this one was from Yana's Glimmer Collection. I'll link that in the description as well. And then I used, I think it was called like Speckled Aura, I think is the glimmer foil. And it did some oxide on this one just to give it a little bit of interest on the background. I've been kind of playing around with some more oxides just to get myself a little bit more familiar with adding it to cards without making like a sunset or well like a sunset because that's kind of what I've been used to making with the oxide inks but I just kind of wanted to branch out and do something a little different so I've been playing around with those so here's the products of me playing around anyway this whole oval is going to go right on top cover up some of that pretty foil but enough will show that it's still worth it and I forgot to mention, but these two ovals are part of, these are part of the modern oval collection. And I just love the style of that. Okay, one more card, oh, nope, two more cards to make on camera here, and then I'll show you the rest of them. Oh, look at this glitter paper, you guys. I almost hate to use this whole piece on this card, but I will. This is glitter paper from Spellbinders. It's stunning, and it doesn't leave a mess. A little comes off, but it's not this disaster. I've had some glitter paper that is just an absolute mess. But you know, some people love glitter, some people hate glitter. I am in the category of love glitter. So this glitter paper is right up my alley. I even let my kindergartners use glitter because I think life is too short not to use glitter. Moving along, <laughs> I used Yana's glimmer plate again on this one and if you can look carefully at the glimmer foil you can see that there's little stars and specks in the glimmer and that's because I used a special glimmer foil. I will link that with this card. I don't remember the name of it right now but it's part of this Christmas collection that is a foil set and it's just really pretty. This circle die was part of the Postal Edge collection and it just has these simple dots going around the edge. And I think the look of that is just very understated, but beautiful. Doesn't need this big, crazy design on the edge. It's just these sweet little dots. And then the sentiment says here, have a merry and bright Christmas, just like this last one. It's very sweet. And you know, to color these was very simple and easy because the stamps themselves have this textured and shadowed look to it. So for the Christmas lights especially, I only used one Copic marker and it looks like I have shadowing and highlights there, but it's because of the stamp. They put these little speckled black dots and it just gives this dimension and shadowed look. I just think it's fabulous. Now this one is again from the Glimmered for Christmas collection and I use that aura color which is that rainbow loveliness and then I use some Distress Oxide to color the background. And I pulled out my sweet little mice with the mistletoe again because I can't get enough of them. I first thought, you know, these are my favorite mice from the collection of the five but then I saw the next one and the next one, and the next one, and I thought, I don't think I can pick a favorite because I love them all. 
I'm going to grab some paper and just mat this sentiment on some paper because I think it needs a little something for the background so it doesn't get lost on my oval. Let's see, maroon, yes. I just popped some maroon paper on the back of this one and you know, why not? Let's pop this sentiment up just for fun. I just love being able to use leftover foam squares from card kits and really get a good value from that. I did want to mention on this card, I did take my white gel pen and just highlight spots of the candy cane and spots of the leaves on the mistletoe just for extra oomph. Okay, those are all the cards I'm going to show you that I made on camera today, and now I'm going to show you the rest of them that I made before the video started. This one I call the Little Drummer Boys. They are just so cute. Look at them. This one I chose the sentiment piece on earth to match this one and I made all their little drums kind of coordinate. If you're not familiar with House Mouse, they do have specific colors and character names for all of the mice. So you can definitely color them however you want because there's no rules for crafting. But if you wanted to match their little, their fur to their characters, you can definitely do that. This one, the Noel stamp is perfect for a whole front card like this. It is just gorgeous. I have another one with the little mouse swinging. This one I tried to do some non-traditional Christmas colors and I pulled out an embossing folder as well. This one we have the mice skating. I used colored pencils on this one just to switch it up a little bit. And I love the sentiment that says, hold on, I'm here for you, because they're holding on to the little tails, and I think it's just adorable. And then last, I have two more with the lights. You can tell that I really loved that one when I was stamping, and I just think it adds, it is a very simple stamp, but it, it has such an adorable sweetness to it because he's swinging from a light, and you can just picture that happening Hopefully not in your house, but <laughs> it can happen outside on the pine tree outside, but just so stinking cute. Anyway, let's see. How many cards did I even make? I don't even know. I would love to know what your favorite. If you would like to let me know in the comments, that would be so great. And let's see if I can pick a favorite. Oof. I guess I should probably do that if I'm asking you to pick a favorite. <laughs> Only right. Wow, I did a lot of landscape cards this time, which is kind of different. I usually like to do the portrait ones. Oh, wow. What do I like the best? <laughs> okay, I think it's probably this one or this one, just because of the foiling and the coloring. I just think that this was a really fun collection overall, and I really enjoyed just sitting, relaxing, coloring these mice. I'm going to add a little bit of white to this one. But overall, this is a really fun collection. And if you are going to pick one up or all of them up, let me know in the comments. They are doing a bundle. So if you want them all, you can get them all for a discounted price. So I will link everything in the description for you for every card. I will list them by stamp. So all of the ones that are the mouse swinging I will list as like a one two three four so I'll list this one as like the mouse swinging with the red border or the mouse swinging with the glitter border or the pink or the green so that's how I will put those in the description and same with the candy canes and the mouse pulling I'll just kind of describe the card briefly and if you have any questions or if I forget to link something, just let me know in the comments and I'd love to help you out. Thank you so much for watching all the way to the end. I hope you've loved this video and I hope you love the little mice just as much as me. If you have not checked out my announcement video, please do so. I have a huge announcement that I put on my channel on the 10th. I am releasing a collection with Spellbinders. I am so excited to have you guys make projects with it. So check out the announcement and you can see my whole collection.
that is going to be available on September 10th for purchase, but you can see it right now in the coming soon section of the Spellbinders website. I will link that for you in the description. Again, thank you so much for watching. Thank you for crafting with me. I love hearing when people craft, when people say, oh, I watch your videos when I'm crafting because I feel like that makes us crafty friends, which is always fun. And I always have room for more crafty friends. So <laughs> virtually speaking, of course, my craft room is quite small. And I hope you have a great rest of your day. Bye-bye.